Hey guys, it's Pat, and today we are going to take a look at the More Notches mod. And guys, when I first saw this mod, I actually thought it would kind of be like a funny joke mod, but it's actually really cool. Adds in a ton of new content into Minecraft. And as you can see around me, there are a bunch of new mobs, a bunch of them, and they're actually all Notch, all versions of Notch. They're pretty funny, actually. Um, but also, there's two dimensions to get added and a bunch of gear, so it's pretty cool. The first mob is regular Notch, of course. See him right there. The second one, Ghost Notch. And the third one is Hell Notch, which lights you on fire, so you'll need to be careful of him. But he's only going to be found in the Nether, so you won't have to worry about him in the overworld. And then there is Slender Notch, and he teleports away, and he gives you a blindness effect. So I'm going to spawn him in, try to get you a good look at him. Turn this way, damn it. All right, there he is. See, that dude's awesome, right? That's awesome. All right, the next one is Zombie Notch, which actually is kind of one of the funnier looking ones, in my opinion. Then there's a skeleton notch, creeper notch, every kind of notch you can think of, guys. And here's shave notch. <laughs> he has no beard. It just looks weird. Um, the next one. The next one's kind of cool. This one is friendly notch, and he will help you fight. So he'll start fighting mobs with you. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's funny, like slender notch is moving like blocks around. This one is butter notch, and I actually assumed he would kill um, squids, but I tried to get him to do it. He kind of just like went around. They spawn in the ocean. I saw one spawn in there. Um, Squid Notch has died in the water, so he was very unhappy with where I made him live. So you'll see him. He looks freaking hilarious. I mean, look at his face on a squid. <laughs> it's so crazy. But yeah, those are a bunch of the mobs, but there's a few more, which I'm going to show you as we go along with the mod. There's also one new ore as well. But here we go. Here are the new weapons. And there is a Hell Sword. It does 10 damage. Ghost Sword, 6 damage. Slender Sword, 30 damage, and right-click is Teleport, so we'll check that one out. There's Zombie Sword, 7. Skeleton, 6. Creeper, 8. Wither, 18. God Sword, 14. And you get Night Vision with that one on, so that's kind of cool. And there's the Butter Sword, which does 7 damage. And there's an actual set, too. The Nachia set, so you get a sword, you get a pickaxe, an axe, and a shovel. So these ones are extra cool, because they got, like, special effects. So the Slender Sword will teleport you, like that, so it throws an Ender Pearl. So, that's pretty cool. And this other one will give you night vision. So now I've got um, about a minute 40 of night vision. So those are kind of cool. Cool effects to these. Plus, they're really strong. Kill this. I'll make the butter notch happy by killing that. And then I'll kill him with the god sword. That's how it's done. So they do have a decent amount of hit points, too, these dudes. They do have a lot of health, as you can see. I mean, I just had to hit them a bunch of times. And just to show you guys, they do drop the corresponding ingot, which is used to craft every sword. So all these swords can be crafted based on killing that exact mob. So if I kill, you know, one like the Hell Notch, I can make the Hell Sword, and so on. And the recipe for that is exactly the same as you would expect it to be, just sticks plus the ingots. So it's really easy to make those if you want to. Alright, so now to get into the new dimensions, you were probably wondering about that. And this one, you need a transporter. So for that, you're going to need two diamonds and a gold ingot, and that will make you a transporter. I'm going to grab this hell transporter as well. I don't believe there's a recipe for this one yet. All right, so the regular transporter, all you have to do is right-click with it. It's actually really cool. It builds a portal for you. Bam! Portal to heaven. I thought that was so sick. So you don't have to worry about, like, setting it up. I find that annoying anyway. But this is heaven. We're in the clouds. And you can see there are tons of angels around. Tons of them. So these dudes you could actually trade with. And what they're planning on doing is having, like, actual, like, custom trades set up, not just, um, you know, the regular trades, which is pretty much what these are. There's a currency in creative, but they haven't, like, finished doing it yet, which is kind of cool. So there's going to be a bunch of trades around. And these are randomly generated structures. I love randomly generated structures, to be honest. I don't think there's anything ever in any of these chests, but there is another structure as well. I'm checking all these right now. All right, nothing in there. All right, so there's another structure you're going to see, and this one is more important, and I think it's a bit rarer. You can see that there's a ton of these, so we'll take a good look at this place. I thought it was kind of weird, though. We're in heaven, and there's lava here. There shouldn't be lava in heaven. There's some other angels that come out um, at night. I think they're called corrupted angels, so you're going to see those as well. And if you explore around here, it's kind of just, you know, it's very white. These are like cloud blocks, cloud blocks, but you can use them to build and stuff like that, which is always cool as well. I think we spawned in like a good spot because there was like no structures all the way till over here. And here is the exact one we are looking for. And this is the one you're going to be searching for when you get to heaven. 
Um, this one's extremely important, you'll see in a second. And of course, it spawned probably the worst possible way that it could have. It spawned with a bunch of stuff in it, didn't it? <laughs> Alright, let me try to get rid of this stuff. And you can see this block is different. This, you know, that's the one that's only one that's supposed to be in here. Weird generation of things. Alright, there we go. So this block, you right click on this, and an item appears in your inventory. And this item is called Call of God. And this is how you summon God. God is not a boss or anything. He's cool, dude. So there he is. So if I talk to him, he said, I expect the already furious destroyer. I brought you here because there is something terrible that is going to happen. Devil Notch has brought the Wither Notch to the overworld. Please use it. Damn it. Let me use it again. <laughs> no, don't. What the hell? Don't run away from me, man. Okay, please use this to call him to you and kill him. You are the only one who can kill Devil Notch. So he gives you this. This is Call of the Wither Notch, and you're going to use this to spawn um, the Wither Notch, which is kind of cool. This is the Wither Notch. Look at him. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to kill this dude to show you what he drops because it's really important. There's like a cheat sword they put in creative for this. Bam. Dead. And you can see he dropped a ton of stuff right there, four different things. So I'm going to make some room. I don't need all that stuff anymore. So we'll grab that. This is all important things. So what he dropped was an amulet of notch, and that's what they're going to be using for the currency to trade with the angels, which they haven't implemented in yet. He also dropped a wither ingot, which is, you know, for making, you know, a wither sword. And he dropped a note. And what this note does, it actually spawns the slender notch. And that's how you get to fight him and, you know, get his drops as well. So right click, there he is, slender notch. And that's how you're going to see him. I mean, most of the mobs are just going to spawn regularly, but that's one that you're going to have to spawn in like that. There is one more dimension, and that is hell. And I do not know that there is a crafting recipe for this yet. I don't think there is. I could not find one for the life of me for this one. So let's right click it, and we're going to hell. And this one's a little bit glitched. This one's brand new, just got added in. You're going to see, I actually fall a little bit. I fall a little bit there. So this place is kind of crazy looking. It's all like netherrack, so if you really want netherrack, you can get it. There's also two new mobs. You can see right there, there's a hell spider and a hell creeper. The hell spiders do light you on fire, and the hell creeper's explosions are twice that of a normal creeper. And see them? They look a little bit different. Look at the spiders. They look, they have like horns. Do they normally have that? I don't think so. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all there is to show. This mod adds in a bunch of new mobs, two new dimensions. It's actually pretty cool. Cool weapons, all kinds of stuff. If you guys want to check this out, the download is in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.